Gautam Buddh Gautam Buddh was born to the king and queen of Kapilavastu as Prince Siddharth around 566 BC. Soon after his birth, an astrologer predicted that he was destined to live his life as a saint by abdicating the throne and giving up all worldly pleasures. His parents Shuddhodana and Maya Devi were shattered by the news and decided to prevent this from happening by keeping a close watch on him and sheltering him from the outside world. His parents hoped that he would get used to the luxuries of the palace and therefore never give it up. At age 16, he was married to Yashodhara, the beautiful daughter of a nobleman. Siddharth's curiosity grew with age and one day he asked his charioteer to take him on a tour of the city. The first person they came across was an old man who seemed weak and frail. The charioteer explained that along with age comes weakness and failing health. He then came across a sick man who was in great pain and finally a procession carrying a dead body to the cremation ground. He was told that everyone would die one day and leave this world. At the end of the tour, he chanced upon a sage who appeared calm and serene. And after inquiring, Siddharth was told that such men give up their worldly possessions in search of inner peace. Siddharth was deeply troubled by his first experience of the outside world. He decided that to answer all his questions about life and death, he would have to leave the palace and give up his palatial life. At the age of 29, Siddharth left the palace one night while his wife and son were still sleeping. After trying different ways to find the path of truth, he finally reached the city of Bodh Gaya and started meditating under a large fig tree. After 49 days of meditation, at the age of 35, Siddharth attained enlightenment. From that day on, he was known as Buddha or the awakened one, after the Bodhi tree under which he meditated. Gautam Buddha shared his knowledge with five sannyasis who meditated with him and also traveled across the country teaching the key principles of Buddhism known as the noble truth. They are the world is full of suffering and misery. Desire is the cause for all suffering and misery. Suffering and misery can be abolished by removing desire. Desire can be overcome by following the eightfold path. This includes right views, right thoughts, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right efforts, right mindfulness and right meditation. Several Buddhist monuments stand all over India to this day such as the world renowned Ajanta and Ellora caves, the Kanheri and Karla caves as well as universities at Sanchi and Amravati. Gautam Buddha passed away in 483 BC. Though he lived centuries ago, his birthday is still remembered as Buddha Jayanti in India. The Bodhi tree is still worshipped as a symbol of enlightenment even today.